This video will demonstrate the performance of the Cooter Richardson 20, which is an analysis that's used to determine the reliability of a measurement scale or measurement uh, item uh, using items that are dichotomous or nominal scale. It's similar to the Cronbach's Alpha. It's actually a special case of the Cronbach's Alpha, um, which if you've watched uh, the previous video is again a way to determine the reliability of a measurement tool. Uh, and that's typically using interval or ratio scale data. The Cooter Richardson 20 is used when we have nominal scale measurements. So in this case, we have uh, a measurement tool that has six items that are nominal scale. Uh, it's a choice of either or. Uh, and again, this could be measuring any kind of characteristic or any kind of trait um, in which the measurement of that trait could be done in a dichotomous way. And so what we're going to try and determine is if these items are measuring the same construct. In other words, are they re reliable? Are they interrelated? And in order to do that, we're going to do a very similar measure that we used, or the same measure we used for Cronbach's Alpha. And we're going to go to the Analyze menu, go to Scale, and then choose Reliability Analysis. So what we want to do is make sure we have the items that we wish to used to determine the reliability of the, the measurement tool. Uh, make sure the alpha model is chosen. We go to the statistics button and make sure we've checked descriptives for the item, descriptives for the scale, and then descriptives for scale if item deleted. We want to see the inter item correlations and that's going to help us determine if which, if any, of the items may need to be removed in order to improve the reliability of the tool. We can ask for the means uh, of each of the items, and then we click Continue. Then we click OK. And then the output that we're going to get, the, the most important item initially that we're interested in, is actually seeing the Cronbach's Alpha. So again, this is a measure of the reliability of, this, of the tool. In other words, are all the are all of the items measuring the same construct and the closer this value is to one the better that tool is in measuring the construct anything above 0.7 is considered adequate uh, when we get above 0.8 or higher that's considered to be optimal and the closer to one we can get the better and so we can see the means for each of the uh, items and so uh, a measure of point 435 indicates that we have weak reliability. Um, in other words, it's we have items in this tool that are not measuring the same things. So that tends to reduce the reliability of the tool. So our goal then in this case is to determine which items might be diminishing or harming or lowering the Cronbach's alpha level. And if we can find those items, we can then remove them from the tool and that will then improve the reliability of the tool. So one of the first things we can do is go to the inter-item correlation matrix. And what we want to see is if we can find items that have a low correlation with either or other items, and by low I mean less than 0 0.30, or if there's a negative correlation between one item and the other items. If there's a negative correlation, that's indicating that they are measuring the opposite construct potentially. And so that is pulling down or diminishing the reliability of the measurement tool as a whole. So as we, as we look at this inter-item correlation matrix, we can see there are a couple of items that do have negative correlations with the other items, as well as fairly low correlations. So as we look at item 1, for example, compared to item 2, 3, and 4, we see fairly strong correlations. But if we look at item 5 and 6, we see either very low, or in this case, very low and negative correlations. And so that's indicating that, that these two items don't seem to be measuring the same thing compared to the other items. Now something else that we can look at is the item total statistics. And what this will tell us, if we look to this far right column here, is if we were to remove any of these items, what would that do to the Cronbach's alpha? Would it improve it or would it make it worse? So remember, we started out with a value of uh, 0.435. 
And as we look at this column, we can see if we removed item 1, that would actually make Cronbach's alpha worse. It would make it smaller. Same thing with item 2 and item 3 and item 4. If we removed item 6, that would improve Cronbach's alpha to a 0.568. And if we removed item 5, that would improve Cromex Alpha up to a 0.742, which is at the acceptable level. So if we were to remove those two items, it appears we would then have a measurement tool that would be reliable. Would All the items would be measuring the same construct. It would also make the tool smaller, a little more streamlined. We'd only have four items, but it would make it a much more reliable tool. So to summarize, the Cooter Richardson 20 reliability coefficient will give us an indication of how reliable a measurement tool is. Uh, and if the items in that measuring, measurement tool are of a nominal scale or dichotomous scale, then the Cooter Richardson 20 technique would be utilized. And this is in contrast to the Cronbach's alpha, in which we typically are going to use that to determine reliability of a measurement tool when we have interval or ratio scale data. So we use the Cronbach's alpha value to determine if the measurement tool is reliable. We can also look at the inter-item correlations to determine if any of the items may need to be removed from the tool in order to improve its reliability. And then we can also use the item total statistics to help us determine if removal of items would actually improve the reliability and the Cronbach's alpha value.